Welcome to New York. With his smash that broke a scoreless tie last night, Anthony Rizzo became the 38th player in Yankees history to go deep in their first game with the club. Rizzo is also the sixth to do so since the beginning of the 2016 season and the first since Dr. John Carlos Stanton went deep twice on opening day of 2018. We head into the cage now where Rizzo is getting ready for tonight's ball game. Following his debut, Rizzo talked about how his goal is to grind out at bats, forcing opposing pitchers to work so hard that it makes things easier for his teammates sitting behind him. The Yankees were already among the MLB leaders in pitches seen per at bat before Rizzo and Gallo were brought in, so they should be even better in that category moving forward. As we thank you for coming back with us on VPTV, Gallo and Rizzo are two of 10 All-Stars who were moved during the trade deadline season. It was a frenzy around the majors, but Brian Cashman made sure the Yankees addressed some needs. And after the dust settled yesterday, he talked about those big acquisitions. The Gallo I've been trying to get for quite some time. Um, I thought we were close in spring training in March uh, to Gallo. Uh, it didn't happen. Um, and, uh, so he's been someone we've been, you know, checking in on and trying to acquire for quite some time, uh, because we thought it'd be a nice fit. Um, you know, Rizzo obviously developed here in the more recent circumstances, you know, uh, you know, so in the last, you know, week, I can't tell you at what point I checked in with Jed Hoyer, but as we were, you know, circling through, uh, all available players. You know, uh, clearly we have a position that, you know, in Luke Voigt is, was coming back, but he's been hurt all year. Um, so we just felt uh, this was an opportunity that that made a lot of sense for us and uh, we could make it work if uh, if we found the right player package that we could live with. Um, you know, the Cubs obviously, you know, were willing to pay the salary. So I see, for instance, you know, you know, they paid the Mets Baez down. They were willing to pay, obviously, uh, uh, Rizzo down. I don't know what they do with Bryant going to San Francisco, but uh, but that was not going to be an issue. And so it just came down to if we could tolerate the uh, the prospect value. You know, it was something we had to determine was it was it uh, something that a improved us. We felt without a doubt it would. And then b um, even though we have the position filled, uh, is that something we should walk away from? And the answer was no. It was not. We we're, we're excited to have uh, Rizzo. We're sorry about obviously Luke Voigt's uh, season the way it's gone thus far, but obviously we have a two month sprint now to try to to uh, to push ourselves into the postseason and take a shot uh, at the ultimate prize. I think we can, you know, we can do some damage and get back into this thing. And I mean, we're right there on the brink of a, a postseason wild card, but uh, you know. We got to obviously push through, and then uh, and then there's a division that we can try to take a, take a shot at if we can get ourselves in a, in a much better position than we are right now. But first things first, we just got to win as many big games as we possibly can over the next two months.